Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, being that we have Valentine's Day right around the corner, I want to show you guys a Valentine's look that you guys can recreate at home. I'm going to start with uh, my eyeshadow primer. I always start with the eyes first, that way I'm not wiping away any um, of my face makeup if I already have applied that. And so I'm going to start with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This stuff is really good to make sure that your eyeshadow um, stays on all night long and uh, it prevents eyeshadow creasing. So I'm just going to use a little bit and you only need about that much. And just distribute it evenly along the eyelids and you just want a small um, layer and kind of dab it into your eyelids. And I'm going to start with a kind of a pinky color on the lid and I'm going to be using the uh, by Morphe brushes, brushes palette and it's the 35W palette and I'm going to start with this pink right here for the lid I'm also going to add in this pink here and just dab it across each eyelid and you want to go all the way up to the, um, the crease but not in the crease. So after the um, eyelid application is done, I'm going to move on to um, kind of the crease transition color. So for this, um, I'm going to choose, it's kind of like a corally color, but I'm going to do this. And then uh, I want to choose like a, a really good just neutral brown. So I'm going to go in with uh, this color right here. Kind of just roll your brush in it, tap off the excess. And for here, you just want to go into the crease and in kind of a back and forth motion. The idea is you want to blend the two colors together so that you're creating definition and to blend it out. And you can go a little bit up, make sure you get on the um, starting where the, the brow bone is. That way there's a smooth, smooth lines. After that, I'm going to continue on still the crease, and I'm going to take a brush like this. It's more um, compact, and I'm going to go in with a darker shade to define the crease. And for this, I'm going to use this kind of red-brown. So dip your brush in there, tap off the excess, and then you want to place it right where your natural crease is and just work it back and forth. So once I have that, as you can see, it's kind of looking um, like you can still see all the three different colors. So I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again that I used uh, for that transition color, this one, and just blend it out even more. And then I'm going to go back in with that same red-brown color and just add a little bit more to the crease to just create more definition. And blend it out. So then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like this and I'm going to use this for product right under the eyebrows to kind of highlight it and for now I am just going to use this uh, light color here in the Morphe palette and just run it along underneath the eyebrow and this is just going to help further blend the uh, crease color and the transition medium color. So then I'm going to take um, 
I wanna go back to the eyelid and I wanna add some fun glitter. So for this, I'm gonna be using um, MAC Pigment. And this color, I don't know if they even sell it anymore, but it's um, Pearl Rose Light. It's this pink color right here. And for this, whenever you use uh, pressed pigment like this, or loose pigment, you um, need it to stick on your eyelid somehow. So I like to use um, the Urban Decay uh, Bondage, and this is just an adhesive, so it'll help. Um, it won't do eyelashes, but it'll do glitter, um, you know, jewels. Like it. I'm just gonna take a little bit, and it looks like this. It comes in a wand. And I'm actually just gonna put it on the back of my hand because it's easier for application. That and way. then I'm just gonna take a, um, a concealer brush, just a synthetic concealer brush, it looks like this, and get some product on it, and then press it along my eyelid. So then, I'll dip my brush into the pigment. And then press it on the eyelid. And you wanna get most of the eyelid. I'm kind of avoiding the crease area. And then um, you wanna, don't go beyond the actual eyelid. Just keep it on the lid. Then you want to do the other side. And you can do the inner corners as well. So now, I want to make sure that it's evenly blended out. So I'm going to take that uh, fluffy brush again, this one, and just kind of run it along the sides to blend it. So now for my um, eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion. It's the waterproof uh, fine tip point pen and um, it works great. I love it. So for this, I'm just gonna run it right along the lash line and I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna go back and clean it up uh, later after I do my face makeup. So right now, let's move on to the face. And I'm gonna start off with a face primer. Um, this is super important. It kinda creates just like a good clean slate and canvas for your face makeup. Um, and it helps your foundation stay and not sink into your pores and so I'm gonna start with the uh, Tarte Clean, Clean Slate Flawless. I just got this, so this is gonna be the first time testing it out. I'm gonna just take a little bit on my fingers. And this is, um, let's see, supposed to 12 hour brightening primer. It's waterproof, silicone free, so it should be good. So I'm just gonna smear it all over my face. can get your neck okay kind of sticky but should be good feels hydrating which is good so I like a little uh, shimmer under my foundation so I'm gonna do the um, Becca Cosmetics shimmer skin perfector and this is in the color opal I love it because it's a good um, like neutral it's not too warm not too cool and I'm gonna take a brush the MAC 180 brush, it looks like this. It's, it's thick here and it's thin at the top. And just a squirt, that's all you need. And then place it on the cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. It kind of just gives your skin a little highlight under your foundation and so it doesn't look so matte. And then moving on to my foundation, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation being that it's Valentine's Day you know you're gonna be most likely out to dinner maybe having drinks 
eating, talking, maybe kissing, whatever. So you want your face makeup to last and you want your whole makeup, all your makeup to last. So um, I'm gonna use this foundation. It's a little thicker, it's good for evening. So I'm gonna take um, a brush. This is the Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki, the F88, like this. This is my favorite foundation brush at the moment. Just take one squirt, that's all you need for this foundation. A little goes a long way. And then I'm gonna start by just making little dots on the face and then smearing it in. You wanna get under the eyes. And make sure you get down the neck. And you even wanna get up the ears too. Um, I'm gonna move on to concealer and kind of concealer slash highlight. So for this, I like to use the um, Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This stuff works really well. It's, um, it's good coverage. I use this to conceal and to highlight. So I'm gonna directly just put it on my face and basically just make a triangle and go all the way out and up. Same thing on this side. And I'm also going to do a little right here, down the bridge of the nose. I like to do here and here. And you can also do around the, the um, nose because it tends to get a little red around there. And then I'm gonna take a um, damp beauty blender and just blend it in. These work really nice because they really press the makeup into the skin and because of all the little different angles, you can get into all the different, um, you know, around your eyes and around your nose. It just fits right in all the angles of your face. And being that it's wet, it helps make the makeup look more natural and not so cakey. Now that I have that done, I'm going to do my contour. And for this, I'm going to use um, the MAC shade in Shadester. It's this dark one right here. And I'm going to take the um, angled brush like this and apply my contour. And again, you want to go right in where if you suck in your cheeks, right in that where you feel that bone. And you want it to look natural, so make sure you blend it out. But you can go as heavy or as light as you want. I'm gonna do a little bit around the forehead. The idea is just to make your face look slimmer. And I can go into face shapes in another video, but depending on what your face shape is, you, you can contour your face differently. And I'm also going to go down the sides of the nose just to give the nose an illusion that it's slimmer. forehead and a little underneath the jawline so now before I finish up the rest of the look I am actually going to um, bake my face I am going to set everything that I did and make my highlight and contour stand out so for this I'm going to use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. This is the pressed powder. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender again and just press it in there. And then right where I did my concealer and highlight, I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna put the uh, powder. And I'm gonna go along here, right under the contour. here, down the nose, there. And I'm just gonna let that set. I know I look funny, but it helps all the makeup stay and, and whatnot. So now I'm gonna move on um, to my mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then put my mascara on. 
For the mascara, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion. This is my favorite mascara. Okay, so I feel like I've baked enough, so I'm gonna take a, uh, just a big fluffy brush like this. This is just a powder brush. I'm gonna sweep it away. And then I'm gonna take um, some blush, and I'm gonna use the, um, it's a MAC blush. It's a good kind of um, pinky, pinky, dusty rose. I think it's called like, All's Good or it's good. And I'm gonna take, um, this is the Sigma F15. It's, again, thick in the middle and then light at the top, so it makes for a light application. And I just wanna get the apples of my cheeks and then bring it back. So I'm starting to look nice and pinky for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to move on to my highlighter, and for this I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Um, this is in the color Luminous, and it's really pretty, but it's really glittery, so I can only, like, I only want to use it for special occasions. So for this I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Highlighter, the F35. It's nice and fluffy. Just take some product, and then I always like to Press it onto the cheekbones first, and then blend it in. And then a little bit on the nose, and the lips. You can use as much as you want on the cheekbones. So now I'm going to finish up the eyes. Now that I have my concealer, my highlight, blush, everything, um, I'm gonna go back in with the eyes and I'm gonna take a smaller brush. It's like, it looks like this. I'm gonna run some of the eyeshadow I used in the crease along the bottom. I'm gonna take that same rich brown color and run it along the bottom. And then I'm gonna take, um, finish my eyes up with the Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner. And I like to put this in the waterline. This has really good staying power. And you also wanna run it on the upper, underneath the, the eyelid. And for this, if you have an issue with it, if you're on this side, look that way. And if you're doing it on, the, on um, this side, look that way. And I am going to um, add false lashes. So my, I'm just gonna do um, some nice soft and romantic kind of looking ones. Uh, these are by Ardell and they are wispies. They're actually my favorite eyelashes by Ardell. They're really, um, they're, they give your eyelashes a good volume and length without them looking too fake. So for the glue, I'm going to use um, the Duo Brush on Adhesive. Um, you know, they come in like two different bottles, like the squeeze bottle, but this one I found um, it has an easy applicator and it actually stays on, it makes your eyelashes stay on really, really well. And you just, you don't want a lot of glue. If you use too much, your eyelashes aren't gonna stay on. So you just want to do a um, small, a thin film just along the lash line. And then I found um, a little eyelash applicator at Target. Usually I just use my fingers or tweezers, but I found this. It's by Ubu. So I'm going to test it out and see if it helps at all. So I'm just going to clamp it on, I guess like that. Kind of, I guess I should have done my glue second. And then just, you wanna just place it on. Sometimes it helps going from the top. It's easier if you just place it in the center. Then when you're comfortable, do the um, sides.
So now I'm going to do the other eye. Again, placing the glue. And you want to let it kind of dry. Usually with traditional um, eyelash glue, you want it to dry for about 30 seconds and then place them on your eye because it, it gets tacky. I feel like I still need tweezers with that because to get the edges. And you might get a little discoloration when the uh, with the glue, but that's normal. Just wait until it dries and then um, then you can put like black eyeliner over it if it's still kind of showing up, but most of the time it should dry clear. So now moving on to the lips. I am going to start with lining my lips. I'm going to do a dark um, red. So for this I'm going to use the ColourPop. Um, this color is in Dukes. It's like a really deep um, kind of red but, but brown too. So for the lipstick, I'm going to be using um, this color right here. It's by Lipland Cosmetics, and this is in the color Montenegro. This was the Omrizi and uh, Lipland Cosmetics collaboration. And I'm just going to start in the center and work my way out. Um, so I'm going to set everything with um, the MAC Prep and Prime. And also the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff really helps your makeup last all night. And then to finish everything, I'm going to take my highlighter again and just run a little bit along the lips. Um, if you want it to be glossy, you can add a clear lip gloss on top or, you know, any, any lip gloss, if, whatever you want. But for this, I'm going to run the highlighter along the top and bottom just to kind of give it a little pop. So here you guys are. Uh, this is my Valentine's Day look. And again, you can do anything that you want to switch anything up, use a different um, eye glitter or lip color, um, add lip gloss, whatever you want. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic Valentine's Day. And please leave your positive, nice comments below and any questions that you may have or anything that you want to see um, in the future, I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me out. And um, please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.